I'm immensely proud to sit here in Unison building because this is where my political activism and journey began. I came from a council estate. I lived in a council house. My mum and dad had a gyro once a fortnight that kept us going and we had to buy everything and worry about the week after and how we were going to eat. In fact, they ate around my mate's houses a lot of the time when I didn't have enough food. I went to a rundown school in a rundown area and I left school with no GCSEs above a grade C. I am every single statistic and poverty indicator that everybody uses today. And what makes me upset is the government are pulling up that ladder of opportunity that helped me. My children now are looking at tuition fees if they ever wanted to go to university and yet children from my background, they're not going to get themselves in that level of debt. £9,000 to me when I was a young mum at 16 was a tremendous amount of money. And when I had siblings that I needed to look after, and my parents said, we can't keep you. We can't keep you for nothing. I had to go out to work full time. I had no option to stay in education. It was only when Labour brought short start centres in that taught me how to be a mum. Because my mum, the system failed her. She can't read or write, my mum. She has bipolar, she's an amazing woman. She does a tremendous job, she raised those kids. But it wasn't her fault, and it wasn't my fault that I was brought up in that family. It wasn't my fault that those opportunities were not available to me. So why should we punish the next generation of children? Why are we saddling the next generation of children with debt? And why are we saying to people today, and our young people today, that you can't have what your parents and grandparents had, you can't do as well as the next generation. And in particular, women are facing the brunt of the Tory austerity that we've seen. We've got to see a stop to it. And since Jeremy Corbyn became leader of the Labour Party, he has moved that debate. I think he can do great things as our leader. And this document gives you that blueprint on allowing and enabling young women like me from my background to be in the best and being what they can be. We need Jeremy as Prime Minister, we need a new fresh approach for the UK and I'll be supporting Jeremy all the way.